So last up, we've got my small bag, the carry-on bag. And this basically has all the stuff that I'm going to want to have with me for sure. So I don't risk putting it in any of the other bags and have it get lost or anything. So it's a, it's a SoTech bag um, made by Paladin. And it's got a SoTech so pouch on the outside. And I forget who makes this pouch. And then I've got a Max Edition, what is this, a roly-poly kind of wadded up in the back here just in case I find something bigger that I need to carry around um, otherwise it's pretty much stock let's see we've got the small laptop and yes we take three laptops with us little towel I keep this towel in, a, in its wrapper because it's a great pad and of course if I need it for a towel it's clean and ready to go just some paperwork and I have four pockets in here very similar to my other travel videos if you've watched them but for people that haven't, let's bust into them real quick. There's basically four pockets. Uh, that big pocket in back where the laptop lives, and then sort of a large pocket for your tasks. Uh, you know, equipment you might need for tasks on hand. I keep this uh, sort of bag with all the equipment for the droids and now the Evo. So it's got the charger, the wall charger, the car charger, spare battery. Um, just want to make sure those devices can work. My sunglasses. We've got all the power supplies in here, so chargers for one of the cameras, chargers for the Evo, chargers for the uh, cell phone, charger for the laptop, small tripod, and then again, you never know what kind of electric you're going to find in a hotel, so I carry one of these things that screws into a light bulb outlet and gives me a two prong outlet, and then I carry around an adapter to give me three prongs, so I can plug in my octopus over there. Uh, I've had to do it before, so for me it's worth the extra couple of ounces to carry that stuff. A couple of batteries, I've just been carrying them loose because we're using so many devices now that have rechargeable batteries, uh, except for a couple of the mice, so I bring some extra triple A's. Uh, I just don't bother using my battery carrier anymore. This pocket's computer uh, stuff, so uh, we've got some SD cards, uh, USB drive, mouse, and uh, the cricket modem which is on its last legs it's about to get kicked out but I thought I'd bring it along for the trip since it's still got a little life in it and maybe we'll compare some speeds up here against the 4G another uh, memory stick those memory sticks are handy with the mini laptop because on an event like this where we might record uh, you know gigabytes of information in a day we're gonna fill up the memory cards in our cameras so we need that little laptop to help them uh, stay empty so we can move the information or the videos over to those thumb drives. Uh, this one's got tools so I've got a couple of pens, some sharpies. Uh, this is uh, my big sharpie which I consider you know handy to have on the airplane if I needed it. Uh, some 550 of course. There should be some re-rolled duct tape in here somewhere and uh, a couple extra strands of 550 in some colors because I planned on putting some uh, lanyards or some pulls at least on them, maybe like that other flash drive and some other stuff that I was putting in here. I carry another headlamp, a Petzl. Uh, what is this one? The E Plus Light. And this one I really like is an emergency backup headlamp. You know, if you get into a situation like a large building like that with no light, you're going to want all the flashlights you can get. So I keep this Phoenix angled one, which I'm a big fan of. It just fits in the corner of this bag great. And that means I can light up the bag if I need to, or I can take it out, of course, and use it as a handheld flashlight. It uses one AA battery, so easy to keep it charged, too. Uh, a couple of the little cameras. We're digging into the camera pocket now. Uh, the little camera with a little pad on it so it doesn't get dinked up. Um, I've switched to this little articulated tripod, which is pretty much a pile of junk. Uh, we got this one for 15 bucks, but I haven't quite decided if I'm going to go to the larger articulated ones. I'm still waiting for some feedback on the other reviews other guys have done. Uh, another flashlight, of course. And I started carrying around this lens cleaner because for some reason I keep going through lenses. So I figure if I start brushing them off once in a while, then maybe I'll pay better attention to them. Anyhow, so that's pretty much it. Another little camera, another lens wipe, and that's it for the main pack. Another USB drive. Uh, we've got cameras basically in these little pouches. Um, haven't had to worry too much, knock on wood, about pickpockets. These little pockets just work out great for carrying the uh, carry cameras. Right now I just happen to have the Droid and the Evo in there. We'll be doing some tests because this Evo is going to be our internet connection. I also have some SoTech pads inside of this little pouch so that it doesn't get hair, uh, dinked up when there's a camera in there. And then I have yet the other camera in this little pouch 
And this one's been a real, uh, and this one's really been decent for us this trip. It's our high speed camera, but it's actually a pretty decent little uh, pocket on the outside. I just had a couple of these extra wire ties, so I stuck them on this piece of Velcro. Um, there's just a lot of wires we're bringing, so I figured I'd bring a couple extras. Help keep things tidy. And then lastly, I've got my big pocket. And this is mostly comfort stuff. I've got my, uh, uh, what do you call it, it's a badge holder. It goes around your neck, carries your badge. When we go to an event like this, we get a badge that, you know, that lets us know we're media and that uh, it's okay for us to take pictures. So I like to bring my own badge holder. Another lock sack bag with just some meds, um, seasick pills, uh, headache pills, and uh, antacids, just comfort stuff. Keep a couple of Tic Tacs in there for the ladies. And I carry a pack of smokes when I travel. And they let me carry this little lighter on the plane. I guess they didn't care about that. Um, I like to carry a pack of smokes. and Everybody can go ahead and flame me if they want. But tell you what, just like when you're at work and those group of people go out and have a cigarette break and they just seem to always, you know, get the next job that comes along and there's always that camaraderie with people that smoke. Uh, all you got to do is bring a pack of cigarettes with you and not be afraid to go smoke once in a while and tell you what, when you're stuck on the side of the road and you're trying to talk somebody into jump in your car and you, you know, pull out a pack of smokes and offer them one, you get a lot farther than giving them a lecture on why you shouldn't smoke. So feel free to flame me for carrying around some lightweight cigarettes, but I do. And uh, that's about it. So uh, quite a bit of crap we bring with us. Feel free to uh, give us your input. We've covered a few events already. So, uh, you know, I've definitely got my gear to where I like it, but I'm always interested in comments and observations, so feel free to let us know what you think, and uh, thanks for watching.